This video is about a quantitative analysis to determine the percentage of iron and uh, the impurities uh, present in an iron wire. This is an example. Iron wire contains impurities. A solution of uh, iron 2 sulfate was prepared by reacting 6.02 gram of iron wire with excess sulfuric acid to make 1 dm cube of solution. The equation is uh, the equation is given. 25 cm cube of iron 2 sulfate solution was pipetted into a conical flask and acidified with 25 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid. Rough and accurate titrations were carried out by titrating 25 cm cube of iron 2 sulfate solution with 0 0.02 mole per dm cube potassium manganate uh, 7 to determine the amount of iron 2 ions present, uh, present and hence the percentage by mass of iron in the wire. The equation has been given. The, uh, the equation has all been given. We have this equation for ion 2 plus plus manganate 7 uh, manganate 7 plus uh, acid to give uh, ion 3 manganate 2 plus a molecule of water there is oxidation and uh, reduction taking place simultaneously now this is a quantitative analysis on how to determine the uh, uh, on how to determine the percentage of iron and the impurities present in an iron wire. What happens here is this: we have the iron wire, we have a potassium a manganate seven, we have um, sulfuric, uh, dilute sulfuric acid. And, uh, uh, and others. The first stage in this experiment, the first stage in this experiment was preparing of iron 2 sulfate by dipping the iron wire into the uh, sulfuric acid uh, uh, big, uh, uh, solution in a beaker. After doing that, you see it very well you know that the number of moles of the ion of the ion 2 of the ion here ion 2 ion present in this beaker is the same as in this uh, 1 dm cube volumetric flask all the solution of the sulfuric acid containing the ion wire and the impurities containing the ion ion 2 and the impurities were all transferred into the conical flask and uh, made up the solution to 1 dm cube. Now, a 25 a cm cube of this uh, standard solution, uh, of this solution, was measured. This solution is of a, is a, a, it has, it is, we are analyzing this uh, solution. 25 cm cube of this solution was measured into a conical flask. The solution is already acidified. A, so a standard solution of uh, 0 0.02 uh, mole per dm cube of uh, potassium manganate 7 was prepared. Now, this, the, this, the titration starts. 1. In this, uh, this solution need no uh, indicator. Why do I say so? Already potassium manganate 7 is colored and that is one of the characteristics of the D block elements. All transition elements they form, uh, they form uh, colored compounds. On titrating this here, on titrating it with a solution of uh, 25 cm cube of iron 2 sulfate now the color is purple. As a deep purple, on titrating it, the color changes 
from purple to colorless. After a period of time, a permanent period, a purple a color is observed, and that was the end point of the titration. There are some basic things you need, some basic concepts that learners need to know. One, in this experiment, as I earlier said, there is oxidation and a reduction taking place simultaneously. Manganese um, uh, uh, potassium manganate 7 is being reduced from plus 7 to, uh, uh, to plus 2 to plus 2 meanwhile the iron 2 is oxidized the iron 2 is oxidized from plus 2 to plus 3 to plus 3 secondly the sulfuric acid here helps to provide the proton or the hydrogen ions that will balance the hydrogen in the water in, in, in the water molecule. It should also be noted that this reaction, a manganese seven reaction, takes place only in acidic um, uh, medium, and in that situation. If dilute acid is not present, there is. If dilute acid is not present, the oxygen, uh, the oxygen attached uh, to the manganate, uh, potassium manganate seven, will remain there. So the, the 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 one of the rules of the sulfuric acid, it will help to prevent a manganese uh, four oxide. Which is uh, which has a brown color or black uh, precipitate. Then, thirdly, you will observe that the potassium manganate seven will help to provide the manganate seven ion that will take part in the reaction. Remember the ion two sulfate. Remember the ion two sulfate which is the analyte that have been taken for analysis have to provide the ion have to provide ion 2 and uh, uh, the impurities present there and as I earlier said remember the number of moles of ion 2 in the beaker are the same as those in 1 dn cube it's just a making up of the solution the number of moles do not change as I earlier said the basic concept here is that the changing of the color the changing of the color from purple to colorless and from colorless to a pale uh, permanent uh, purple is because of the following reasons uh, from from purple to colorless, it means all the ion two in the solution have all been oxidized. All the ion two here have all been oxidized or have all reacted. They have been oxidized to ion three, and at the same time, all the manganese seven ions in the solution have all been reduced they have all reacted they have all been reduced to manganese 2 and in that situation we have no manganese left in the solution we have no ion 2 left in the solution and that is why all of them have all reacted and that is why the solution turns from purple to colorless at this stage any further addition of a drop of manganese of um, uh, potassium manganese 7 into this solution in the conical flux will lead to a pale a permanent pale uh, purple color which is the end point and that signifies what it signifies the excess 
the, 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 uh, the presence of excess omega-7 ion in the solution. The addition of one or two one draw of uh, potassium manganese seven into the conical flask will give excess of it, and that excess of it is the one that will result in this pale uh, permanent uh, color, a pale uh, purple uh, permanent color, because it is in excess. It has no other ion to react. All, it has no other ion to ions to react with. That's why the color remains like that. For that purpose, this point is considered as the end point of our titration. At this end point of this titration, more uh, three other titrations will be carried out to have at least two results. Uh, 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 at least two results. If we have two results, we, con um, uh, we, ha we have two other titrations with uh, uh, concordant uh, results. That are results that have uh, the, almost the same um, value with a difference of uh, 0 0.1 cm cube. We can use those results to calculate our mean tetra. So at this level, you are advised to carry, after the rough titration, you are advised to carry two, three other accurate titrations to have concordant results. From there, you can use those results to calculate your mean tetra. And is that mean tetra we will use as the volume of the potassium manganese 7 that have reacted with 25 cm cube of ion 2 sulfate. From there, we can present our results in this way. We can now present our results in this way. This is how you can present your results. Your results can be presented. Remember, in our questions here, we were told, assume the titration value obtained were 23.80 cm cube, 23.75 cm cube, 23.73 cm cube, and the 23.71 cm cube show clearly how you present your titration uh, values. This is table one gives us uh, a format on how your results can be presented during an exam. You will have a result uh, a result table with initial buried reading and the final buried reading and your tetra. You will also have you will have a rough titration. You have your first titration, you have your second titration, and you have your third titration, and all the values of your titration displayed there. Another alternative of this result could be in this form. Table two, you can present your result in this other form. The number of uh, experiment that you are going to carry out from one, two, three, four where number one is your rough titration, accurate titration number one, another accurate titration number two, another accurate titration number three, then you have your final buried readings, initial buried reading, and then your tetra should be their differences. Then your mean tetra, you will select from all these accurate readings which of the, res uh, which of the experiment had um, concordant results, and then you add them and, divide and have the average. That is how you can present your result in a tabular form for the examiner to make them inter um, uh, interesting to the examiner. The questions that follow after require a certain volume uh, of potassium manganate. So this volume should be the volume, the mean tetra we are talking of. The, the third part of it, Calculate the third part of it would be calculate the number of moles of potassium manganate which reacted with 25 cm cube of iron. This is how you are supposed to do them. Then the third part of it, I mean uh, the F2, 
calculate the concentration of ion 2 ions you need to calculate the concentration of the ion 2 ions then G1 calculate the mass of ion present in 25 cm cube of ion sulfate that's what you have to do then G2 calculate the total mass of ion in the original sample of 1 dm cube ion 2 solution ion 2 sulfate solution and the last part of it calculate the percentage by mass of ion in the sample of ion oil that is the last part let's go to the calculation uh, part of it and see how this is done 